Yo, what up? Yo, it's your boy Shady C here. Just getting from my exercise, sweating like crazy. And I not too long ago read about the incident with Bully, who we're going to call from here on in, we call him Sissy Ray. Him verbally berating a fan for being a fan and shouting, Really? Really? Come on, I'll say Bully for now, but you're Sissy Ray. You are Sissy Ray. Really? Coming from the guy who worked for the company where the crowd chanted, Show your tits. Really? He, he crossed the line? Um, I would love to know exactly what it is he said that was so terrible. Wait, say, shake your ass. You've got nice tits. That's not too far, man. That's wrestling. That's how the crowd is, man. Maybe not today's PC, far left liberal, easily offended SJW snowflake crowd. But when wrestling was fun, that's how it was. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly stunned. And I'll be honest with you, Bully Ray was always one of my favorites. When he went to TNA and reinvented himself, I thought it was awesome. Hell, I got proof. Ask anyone who used to listen to my old podcast I did with my buddy Buck, Wrestling Plus One. We constantly played the clip of Bully Ray saying, Do you know who I am? We defended Bully Ray when Don Tony and Kevin Castle was going off on him. We defended him. I wish I wouldn't have now. Hey, I might say I'm always right, but even the man who's always right occasionally makes a mistake or two. I shouldn't have defended Bully Ray. I had no idea in my wildest dreams the Bully Ray would become the SJW Snowflake Sissy Ray. I had no idea. I didn't see it coming. If you would have told me last year, four months ago, that this would happen, I wouldn't believe it. But now it's like, holy shit. So basically, the story goes like this. There was a fan in the audience, supposedly was making some lewd remarks. Some lewd remarks. Not touching anyone, not grabbing any ass, not pulling a trump and grabbing by the pussy. Just making some remarks. And I guess his little girlfriend got all upset. Hirsch, Hirsch feels she didn't like it. And get out of the fucking wrestling business. She was all broken up and all shad and all upset. Her was crying, probably. And she went back, ran back and told a tit, tattled to her husband, and said, Hubby, they making remarks about me. So he looped this innocent security guy to grab the fan and bring him. Okay, maybe they didn't grab, you know, the guy seemed to tell an honest story. To get the fan and bring him backstage. Now, maybe he didn't beat the guy up, but he intimidated him. You know how the snowflake thing is. You gotta act all big and tough, right? Gotta defend the women. Like they can't defend themselves. See, this is the kind of shit I'm talking about, people. People tell me I'm the misogynist. If, I, if anything, I'm not. Because the difference between me and a guy like Sissy Ray, I believe women are capable of speaking up for themselves. They don't need a white knight superhero to come in and save the day. Dun, 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 dun. They don't need that. But see, guys like Sissy Ray, they look down on women. They think they're inferior. They need a man's protection. That, to me, is pathetic. Sissy Ray, as much as I respected you as a wrestler, as much as I loved your mic skills, you've become... You're, you're a sissy now. You're nothing to me. And think about it, dude. You, you, you used to be the guy who would want to piss the fans off so much that they would try to jump over the bear, the railing. You would never actually let them get into the ring because I can tell now that you're a sissy, but you tried, and it was fun. It was entertaining. But I would love to know when you became this SJW-sensitive snowflake. Talk to me, buddy. Tell me. I'm ready. I'll listen. I don't hear anything. Point is, it's sad. It's pathetic. I liked you so much, dude. You have no idea how much making this video is breaking my heart right now. Do you look down? Do you look down on your girl so much that you needed to jump to her defense? You couldn't have let her yell back at the fan, flip the fan off. It's part of the show. He wasn't crossing any lines. Okay, crossing lines would be physically assaulting her. If that had happened, absolutely run out there. Absolutely. Have security bring him back. You said to him, be a fan. That's what he was doing. Do you really forget 
I mean, I don't know how old this guy was, especially if he was in his 30s. He's probably an old school ECW fan. That's what the crowds did back then. This is before the Snowflake crowd. I, I don't know. I've been thinking of lighting this cigarette four or five times, but it really does break my heart to make this video. But I have to speak the truth. One thing Shady C always does is speak the truth. Bully, it makes me sad, brother. You were a fellow fat man. I mean, you're still fat, but I wouldn't say you're a fellow at this point. You know, you got a good looking woman and she whipped you down, buddy. Whew. And you're a shell of your former self. And that makes me sad. That's what sucks about this generation's wrestling, man. Hopefully one day you'll learn. As you know, this is Shady C. And I'm always right.